killing each other Stop caring for one another Stop looking in the mirror And pretend nothing is wrong I felt we should take the initiative to bring people together to strategize, to identify, and help reduce violence in the community. I think this is the first time an organization has come together to put a project on how they could empower the young African people in Western Australia. The Stop the Violence project is very important, not just to the organization of African communities, but it's also very important in the lives of our young Africans, those who are growing up, and it is important that we imbibe the culture of good societal values in them, instill discipline in them, instill focus in the lives of our young Africans so that they can live a meaningful life and contribute positively to the development of the society in which they live. That is why Stop the Violence is a project that is targeting young Africans to ensure that they imbibe leadership skills to help them, not just in their life, but also to contribute positively to the community in which they live. Because of the cultural difference coming into Australia, there's a lot of violence, I think, in families between the young and the old generation because there is a gap there. So we're looking at mostly physical violence and also you know, emotional um, abuse as well, which is more prominent, I think, in our communities because culturally it's different back home where it's very um, accepted. And here, I think because it's, it's a different environment and that it's not, very, it's not as accepted as it is. And I think the older generations are finding it hard to adapt to that. It's harder for our younger generation because there, there's a cultural shock and a cultural difference um, there. Um, and there's not enough um, people standing up and um, actually leading. We need the youth to come together and actually drive it. Young people need to be busy. They need to be kept busy. And that's something I've, since I've been injured, I, I, I was able to do, you know. Get 40, 50 of them together. We play games every, every Wednesday and Friday. And I'm, I'm lucky to have the OAC here because they're the one who have been supporting me with, you know, with equipment. I, I can't afford it myself, you know. And I'm, I'm volunteering for this. And, that's something I, 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 want, I want to see happen, you know, like violence among our African youth in general. We want to keep that as low as possible. The only way to do it is to get them involved in sport, music, any activity as, as much as possible, you know, get them busy. That's the only way. If, if a lot of young people are sitting around bored at home, of course they're going to grab a couple of mates and go around and do silly stuff, which amounts to a lot of trouble, you know, people end up getting hurt. Stop the Violence Project is an initiation of an organization of African communities. We need to go to the genesis of what actually causes violence. One is identity. We've got issues with finance, we've got issues with the trauma, we've got issues with people trying to fit in, we've got youth trying to transition from their ways of life back in Africa onto the Australian way of life. One of the key things I always say to any youth in Western Australia regarding of your ethnicity or your color, you have to be responsible for your own deeds. You have to be responsible for your community. You need to strengthen your community because you can't stand by yourself. You need people. If we have a lot of people in our community that are well educated and really willing to help their community, I'm sure we could have a better Australia. We will be working with schools that have been identified. We will be working with uh, a gathering of young Africans. We will be organizing a couple of sporting events and a couple of different events to attract the young people. Our aim is to produce young advocates, young Africans that will serve as leaders in their own local community and speaking against violence. Our objective is also to make sure that every young African feel responsible for what they do and we want to make sure to encourage them and give them that understanding that it is their responsibility to be a good citizen. It doesn't have to be the police, it has to be everybody, it has to be something collective. Stop the Balance aims at getting the youth and training them as an instrument to use to stop the violence, getting them at a young age and training them 
what leadership means and training them what self-confidence means and training them what respect means and training them how to engage in meaningful discussion instead of uh, turning it into violence. So that's what uh, Stop the Violence is all about. Stop killing each other, start caring for one another, stop looking in the mirror. The, the youth will listen. I know there are those who will not listen, but some will listen because, you know, any projects, any initiations of any, when you are uh, initiating some projects, you have to start step by step. We know if we start now training some, then they will, we will send, the organization will send them to the community and when they are in the community, at least they will try to also mobilize, train youth and with time they will listen on the positives and understand the positive of stopping violence. So we met, we training these young people, the first trainers, trainers, we're training these guys, and they are going back to their youth group, and we are working along with them to see whether those little things that were causing problems, are they still causing problems? Are they being able to resolve some of those issues themselves? Stop the Violence Project is the initiation of an organization of African communities. It was initiated because of the violence, especially amongst the African youth in Western Australia. So, organization of African communities is pretty much the umbrella body of uh, all the African countries who are represented here in Western Australia. This violence is going to escalate to some levels that are going to be very, very difficult to curb. Stop the Violence Program is a program targeted to especially African youths in Western Australia, and the targeted age bracket is between the ages of 13 and 30. We need to go to the genesis of what actually causes violence. So we have identified issues that causes violence. One is identity. We've got issues with finance, we've got issues with the trauma, we've got issues with people trying to fit in, we've got youths trying to transition from their ways of life back in Africa onto the Australian way of life and they are actually struggling. Networking, lack of role models. The strategy is first of all to identify the youth who are role models in the society themselves and uh, we are going to have them as mentors in the first program. Once they've gone through the first phase of the program, they're going to be used to impact that knowledge that they've had onto the other youth in their own respective communities. The overall outcome, we expect the violence, especially amongst the African youth in Western Australia, to drop significantly. Over the long term, the benefits we are looking at a situation whereby we'll have improved communications, improved relationship, relationship between the parents, the children, the youth, extended Australian society to improve and, and that they can feel assimilated in the wider Australian community. If you lose the culture, and the culture that you are going to adapt, you are not even going to, to participate in that culture fully, you will be in between. You will be just like somebody, like the, a lost ship. You will, not, you will not know your culture, and you will not in the culture that you, you want to adapt or assimilate yourself in. So you will be just in between, and it is really going to be a, a great challenge. That's why I said it's better if we keep our culture and embrace it with the Australian culture. I think the, the fear in that is that most of the, even most of the family will break up because that person will not have his own culture and he's not even going to be, to present himself very well in the other, in other people culture like the Australian culture and you will be just somebody who is lost, culturally lost. In our community, um, in terms of violence, we do have emotional and bullying violence, so we tend to keep a very secretive life. Most of the people that come over here, they tend to want to be by themselves. They think that, oh, I've relocated over here, I'm going to stay away from my community people because I don't want any trouble, but it, it actually works out the opposite they tend to be more isolated and have depression and have emotional traumas. And that actually leads to that emotional violence and physical violence, which would be happening in the communities. And because we live so secretive lives, it affects us in some way that we don't know and it, it doesn't help in any way. It's not good for anyone. And that's the, the problems we are having in the community. Yeah.
Stop caring for one another Stop looking in the mirror And pretend nothing is wrong